Hi everyone. I'm being a bit, little bit silent because uh, it's really early in the morning. There's residential areas here and don't want to wake them up. But you can see we're out again today. There's Stanley there and myself. And we've just experienced two typhoons. So we haven't been out for quite a while. It's been about 10 days. And we've been eager to get back on the water. But you can see behind us, we have something very, very different. Uh, what is that? It's not the tuk tuk. It's the Pakayak. So both Stanley and I got a Pakayak each and this is our first time using it today so let's see how it goes. Okay, so we just finished packing and this is the moment we're going to get into the water. So it's really christening our kayaks for the first time ever. I'm a bit worried about getting in because I'm not used to these type of kayaks and I might fall straight in. But I'm going to keep recording and see what happens. Okay. I'm in. Feels pretty good. Now I just need to get in. <laughs> Did you see I almost flew? <laughs> okay. I'm in the water. Whoa, feels very, very different. It feels what? It feels very different. And I'm in the water. Come on, show me how it's done. Okay, okay, not bad. Not now, not today. Not bad. I'll see you for another time. Okay. Yes. He's in. I want to see how fast you can go. Oh, so different. <laughs> oh. The first thing I got to say from what 60 seconds of being on this kayak is that it feels great and I'm not so used to kayaks like this because the tuk tuk has a really flat bottom so you feel really stable as soon as you get on but with this you're gonna obviously expect some tippiness because the the shape of the hole and you're expecting to go much further I don't know if you saw that, but I almost did. I do feel I need to get used to it a little more. Every now and then I'm like tipping to one side or the other side. But that's what kayaks are, right? And once you learn to control that, it's just going to be so much easier to control the kayak. So Stanley just got his GoPro and he keeps trying to use the voice activation and I think his accent <laughs> doesn't allow him to use it properly it works, <laughs> it works. okay <laughs> say hi hi what's up nice it looks really you big like the color? yeah it does look it's beautiful so <laughs> <laughs> I do disagree on that comment I feel like my one is much nicer you can see we've got quite a few new toys today I got myself a new paddle, which is a fiberglass paddle and the shaft is carbon actually and the weight is I think 725 grams so it's a similar weight to a carbon I thought I'd get this one first and then later invest in a really nice carbon uh, paddle once I start adjusting and getting used to it and becoming much more serious and we also got ourselves a pump which is here so the reason why we got the Pakayak, first of all, is six pieces and it fits conveniently in our apartment. As you know, I've mentioned many times, our apartment in Hong Kong is very small and very limited. So having something portable like this is ideal for us because we don't have any place to put it. And 
what we wanted to start doing is a bit more of touring sea kayak. I don't know if you guys recognize this place but it's one of my favorite places to come the Pak Tam Chung area and then we've come here again and you can see the bridge on top the very famous bridge now we decided to um, go to the golf course that's around the corner well not really around the corner it's still gonna take us probably an hour or less than an hour but we feel like we've kind of adjusted to this kayak and we're ready to move on and try out you know, in rougher waters. So let's see how we go. I'm recording you, by the way. I'm recording you. <laughs> so I mentioned earlier we had a typhoon, or we had two typhoons back to back. And today has been like the first day that it's uh, better than usual. It's not raining, it's a little gloomy. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of people on the water today but the water is still a little choppy and looking at the conditions in this area before we came out the winds were about 10 to 15 kilometers an hour and the swells were up to like 1.4 maximum so it's okay conditions so hopefully it stays that way and I can see by hours so until around 11 12 o'clock in the afternoon oh, until 11 o'clock in the morning 12 o'clock in the afternoon it should still be good and this time also we're going to do a barbecue again because we love our barbecues and Stanley bought a, a different barbecue set and he wants to try with real wood so it's going to be like a different flavor <laughs> so yeah we have to go and make it there first so now we have to go across a channel that is high traffic full of wakeboarders and it seems like there's a lot of them out today as I mentioned earlier because of the, uh, the improved weather condition today so it's going to be a bit of a challenge for us to go across especially for us being new on this kayak but I don't think it's going to be a big big issue it's just a matter of us getting like adjusted to it really okay so let's go I can see like a fish farm area right now right in front of me and we're going to just kind of slowly go through there not trying not to disturb them so much but I really want to show you what this looks like I'm not sure if you guys can see but these are the floating fish farms oh, look at this, it's still so traditional and I'm loving it this place is just so amazing it's kind of like in a sheltered area too so that I guess during like typhoons it's still well protected this I've always kind of wanted to fish in one of these areas but I felt like it's kind of cheating because you know there's fish there should be fish everywhere what right underneath all of this you know fishing docks it's amazing well my legs are not very used to the pakayak yet so my my feet are getting a little um, numb from just you know placing it there because I feel like I'm a little nervous so I haven't really moved my feet so much and every time like I kind of have to remind myself that you know I should wiggle my, to uh, my toes and you know move my legs around a little bit so it doesn't fall asleep okay very small beach Okay, so we arrive at the beach. Now Stanley's just quickly setting up. Well, while he does that, I'll show you a bit of the beach. We have our kayaks here rested on the shore the tide's gonna go out so you know we kept it quite close to the uh, to the edge of the shoreline but yeah it's fine and remember last time in my video where we were near the airport the sunny bay and I was telling you about that pineapple that wild pineapple we see it again here <laughs> although it's not ripe I would have been very tempted to try it because some people have commented in the last video that we can actually eat it but it doesn't taste like a pineapple 
and then while we're setting up we're setting up here we have this place which is a walk path and I'm not entirely sure where this goes but I think it's to the golf course because you can see in the distance over here that's a ferry wharf so Stanley did confirm that is the pier for the Gulf Island. So that's why not many people actually come here and do, do much activities because it gets quite busy with a lot of golfers. Yeah, but we haven't seen anyone yet. You know, what's really funny is that we got these radios, these walkie talkies that are waterproof for this trip. Though I didn't bring it out until we ended up at the barbecue site. So typical, so, so typical. But we will use it on the way back and we thought we'd get this because we're going to be doing a lot of like touring and you know going quite far distances so it's easier for us to talk to each other especially when it's windy so we're getting the fire started like this and once we have this started we're going to put in big chunks of wood okay the clams are slowly opening up and we've got the fire going really well you can see here cheers cheers yeah get to eat my clam mmm so nice mm. I'm really spoiled again because we have octopus and I love octopus I know I should have recorded earlier, but the food looks so good that I just had to start eating. So we just finished the steak and Stanley cooked it just right, medium rare. And what he's done is that he brought the leaves with some garlic and some Korean sauce. So it's kind of like a mix of Western and Korean together, but it just tastes so amazing. Cheers. Man. Cheers, beer time. It's perfect. Match made in heaven. I have to say, I really love doing these kind of things, but I haven't been the one that's actually doing all the cooking and preparation. Oh. I'm so spoiled. Okay, so we just finished the barbecue and now we're heading back. And there's a lot of kayakers out right now. I think they're all from the, uh, the training school. The waves don't seem to be as choppy, but the wind definitely has picked up. And you might have noticed this time we're wearing the radio, the walkie-talkie, so we can talk to each other. I hear hip, up, the hip, the hip, hip, up, you don't stop. <laughs> I have to start again! <laughs> okay, we're almost home. Hope you enjoyed today's show. We'll definitely be making many more videos to come. So stay tuned for those and catch you next time. See ya! Bye!